Okay, thank you teachers, thank you teachers, thank you teachers, thank you. Thank you teachers, we'll give you another chance, don't you worry. We'll give you another chance. Okay, congratulations, congratulations. The guest of honor is, is on his feet. Congratulations. The vice chancellor is on his feet. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, we'll give another chance, please. Time, 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 time. Time, time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The district board secretary, speaker, the principal, speaker college of education, the vice principal, and all lecturers here present, invited heads of departments within and outside the Pika district, parents and guardians of our graduates, graduating students. Pika College of Education students here present, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to come and officiate at the first graduation ceremony from Pika College of Education, an affiliate of Kwame Nkrumah University. I am very excited that I am the first, first Vice Chancellor from Kwame Nkrumah University to officiate and confer the graduating students of Mpika College of Education with diplomas in education. Guest of honor, distinguished guests, this day will go down in history as a day when Mpika College of Education, an affiliate of Nkwame Nkrumah University, graduated its first diploma students at Mpika College of Education, Tazara Campus, here in Mpika, district. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me now to thank the management of Pika College of Education for making it possible to organize this colorful event. I know that it is a very difficult task, but you have done it because of your commitment and passion towards education. Let me also thank you for the efforts you have put in training the young men and women to become teachers. Let me assure you that in Kwame Nkrumah University we always support you in any way possible. <clears throat> guests of honor, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, Kwame Nkrumah University is happy to associate itself with Mpika College of Education. The college is among the first teacher training colleges to affiliate with our university. We are happy for the confidence that the college has in our university. As a college, you stand to benefit a lot from our long experience in training teachers in Zambia and surrounding countries. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is not a secret that Nkwame Nkrumah University is one of the best universities in the country. that trains teachers, that offers teaching for excellence. Guests of honor, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the university saw it necessary to accept a request from Pika College of Education to be affiliated to Kwame Nkrumah University partly because of its rural location. We are convinced that teachers trained at this institution will easily stay and teach in rural areas. We are aware that rural and remote posts are the hardest 
to fail with new teachers. Many teachers resist deployment in rural areas or leave their posts after a short period of time and this has created a shortage of teachers in rural areas. We believe that since these graduating students have been trained in a rural setup, they will manage to work in any rural school and that they will not run away to big cities or town. Guests of honor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Mavek Krumah University has been working with and monitoring Pika College of Education since 2016. Upon the inspection of the infrastructure where the college is located, the curriculum, as well as the qualification of its lecturers. I am pleased, guest of honor, that there have been regular contacts between Kwame Kuruma University and Impika College of Education. To facilitate quality assurance, the university conducted powerful capacity building workshop for all the lecturers at the college and provided them with the necessary competences and the materials needed to train teachers at the college. In addition, the university moderated all the examination question papers and the final diploma results. All these undertaking guests of honor are meant to ensure that the Pika College of Education follows in the philosophy path of Nkwame Nkrumah University, whose motto is teaching for excellence. Guests of honor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Mpika College of Education is not only affiliated to Nkwame Nkrumah University, but it is also fully accredited by the Teaching Council of Zambia. I want to encourage you that you must work hard and become a university one day. Therefore, as a university, we are satisfied that the graduating students have met the minimum requirements to be awarded diploma in education from Kwame Nkrumah University. We are satisfied and assured that these teachers who are graduating today will serve the people of Zambia with integrity and honor. Let me turn to the graduating students. I want to congratulate you for your achievement. The journey that seemed to be too long, where many of your friends you started with dropped out, has finally paid off. I want to advise you to follow in the steps of Mpika College of Education motto, education in fullness. You have received a holistic training and acquired sustainable competences that society is in need of. Be leaders of today and tomorrow. Inspire many more youths and give hope to the children of our mother Zambia. I am fully aware that Pika College of Education has a national character. Students learning from here have come from all districts and from all the 10 provinces of Zambia. My dear graduates, you have to understand that the diploma that you are going to be awarded remains the property of Nkwame Nkrumah University. Therefore, you are urged to go and portray a good picture 
of Mpika College of Education and Kwame Nkrumah University. Zambia is waiting for young and energetic leaders, teachers like you. And this is more reason why this year the world celebrated the World Teachers Day under the theme Young Teachers, the Future of the Profession. We believe that you are the future of the teaching profession. You are the ones who take over from most of us. You must therefore work hard and stay safe. Kwame Krumah University is eagerly waiting for you to come and study bachelor's degrees in your areas of specialization. The registrar's office has come with application forms. For those of you who don't want to waste any, any time to embark on your bachelor's degree studies. Once again, congratulations and God bless you all. I thank you. A big applause, please, a big applause. The generation, the stage is yours. The generation, the stage is yours. No, Give you only one minute. The generations.
why he is. You kids are just beautiful. <laughs> Down and listen to these voices. And did you hear that?
officials gathered here, my new teachers now, ladies and gentlemen, Vice Chancellor, I want to inform you that uh, I am a product of Kwame Nkrumah College of Education. This name, Kwame Nkrumah, has gone in the history of Africa as one of the earliest colleges of education in Zambia to train a lot of teachers. A good number of secondary school teachers that you see today in Zambia and those who have retired are a product of Kwame Groma. And so, Pika College of Education, you didn't make a mistake by affiliating yourself to this wonderful University. I trained as a secondary school teacher, as a, by the way, as an in-service teacher in 1996 to 97. Kuruma College of Education by then gave me a good foundation to become a favorite and very effective secondary school teacher in those years. Now, to all of you who are now graduating today, I want to give you an assurance that as government, we are not sitting idle just to train teachers and then leave you to fend for yourselves. We have a big program for you as government. We are preparing a budget that will go towards recruiting a large number of teachers so that you begin saving the children of Zambia. <laughs> so don't be cheated by people elsewhere who are saying government does not have an agenda for the teachers. Education is the foundation of the nation. And we can't talk of education without teachers. Amen. And so the investment in teacher education is one of the greatest efforts that government is embarking on. And so, my friends, don't be discouraged. Keep on waiting. We'll do something for you within a short period of time. I am representing government here, so you are getting the information from government. Don't be, don't be discouraged. Is it power or what? Come on. I have a good message for these young girls, um, for these young teachers. I have a good message for you. And the message is, don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Your government is responsible. And we are going to do everything possible to ensure that our young men and women who are graduating as teachers, as teachers find their space in our schools in Zambia. Before I conclude my speech, 
have something to remind you. What is education? Maybe you are graduating without understanding the meaning of education. I have a new definition of education to you. Education is the discipline of mind and character. Education is the discipline of mind and character. What do we mean? If you report late for work, and yet you have a diploma or a degree, you are not educated. Because education is the discipline of mind and what? Character. If you fail to prepare plans for the children that you are going to be teaching, my dear, even if you have a degree, a diploma, a doctorate, you are not educated. Because education is the discipline of mind. And what? If you borrow money from your friend as a teacher and you fail to pay back, then you are not educated. Because education is the discipline of mind. And what? <laughs> to report for work on time but you are flying with your diploma or degree uh -uh, you are not educated because education is the discipline of mind and what? to the young men in the teaching service those that are found wanting those that engage in exam malpractices and leakages they are not educated because education is the discipline of mind and what? And some of you, the male teachers, those who misbehave with small girls at school, those are not educated because education is the discipline of mind and what? Uh -huh. So now, this ministry that you are joining, it's not an easy ministry. It's a ministry that requires dedicated men and women. A ministry that requires disciplined young men and women. Because the foundation of this nation depends on education. And you, as we send you out to various schools in Zambia, you must carry that message. That we are a disciplined men and women charged with a task to transform the minds of our people. It's not an easy ministry. And I want to tell you, my friends, teaching is not a job, but a calling. It is a calling. And because it is a calling, young men and women who have joined this profession must have passion to transform the world. Welcome to the Ministry of Educated People. Welcome to the ministry that is going to transform the lives of many people in Zambia through the passion that you have. Without passion, without passion, you never make a difference in the lives of the learners. You never make a difference in the life of a learner without passion. And so I'm appealing to you as we as you go into the world at a particular time when we recruit you please have passion have passion make a difference wherever you will be your character must be transformed your mind must be disciplined if you are to change the fortunes of this country I hope you're following me are you getting me? I'm talking to you. Martin Luther at one time said, education teaches one to think critically. It teaches one to be analytical. And he said, when you are thinking critically and when you are analyzing issues, then two things will emerge in the life of an educated person. One, character. And then number two, intelligence. And he said, 
character and intelligence are the two main goals of true education. And I'm happy your, 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 your vision here, I don't know if it is a motto, education in its what? Fullness. Meaning, the character of our teachers from this college must be exemplary. Your intelligence as well must be that which is going to transform the lives of the children in Zambia. And that is the meaning of education in its fullness. If this is the kind of education that we have attained here, then welcome to the Ministry of Educated People. <laughs> the profession that you have joined, my friends, I want to end by saying it requires commitment on your part. Because teaching is defined as a commitment to make a difference in the life of a learner. You are only going to make a difference in the life of learners wherever you will be if you are committed to this profession. Don't join thousands of men and women who didn't choose this profession out of love for the nation. They wanted to become nurses. They wanted to become doctors. They wanted to become pilots. But chances couldn't come by. And teaching remained the only option. These are the men and women who failed to prepare a plan for the children. These are men and women who failed to teach our children effectively because teaching to them is a job. But for you, it must be a calling. It must be a calling. And if it is a calling on your part, then you will drive this ministry with passion. That's the way to go. Finally, your parents persevered, sacrificed for you to be here to complete this wonderful program. And when you begin work, when you start working, when you are employed as a teacher and you get your first salary, my friends, remember what the Bible says. Honor your father and your mother so that it can go well with you. It will never go well with you when you get a salary and then all of it, you chew it with your wife or your husband, forgetting about the source of your success. It will never go well with you. Your first salary, your first salary, I pray, my friends, take it to your parents for a blessing. Some of us have reached this stage of permanent secretary because we were blessed by the parents. If you fail to honor your father and your mother, you will never prosper in life. Your children as well will not honor you because of what you did to your parents. So use the privilege God has given you to help the parents in every possible way because these are the people who have made it for you to be here today. Don't forget about them. Don't forget about them. I can't end my speech without giving you this insight. Honor your parents so that it can go well with you. Chanda Ofre with the credit. Come in that order. Anna Banda, credit. Chakuna Banda, merit. Chanda Ofre, credit. When you get this, go back to your tents and uh, remain standing. Kawimbe Brenda Chandarabeka with the merit. Chansa Loveness with the pass. Chancellor Mary with the merit. Chedelwa Lesa M with the merit. Chveroshi Sande with the merit.
Chileshe Taizia with a merit. Come in that order. Do not sit, remain standing until you are conferred with the diploma by the Vice Chancellor. Chilonga Ani. Chilonga Ani. Chirufia Super with the credit. Sala Joseph with the credit. Jisha Angela. If cameraman, please, can you stand a bit away? Cameraman, stand a bit away. A cameraman, please uh, don't take photos. You take photos when they are conferred. There will be a lot of people around. To Super Thomas with the credit. To Mia Les Lisa with the credit. Enga Enga given with the credit. Gondwe Keti Gondwe Keti Kabila Malama with the credit. To my dearest parents and guardians, kindly give them the gifts when once they are conferred with the diplomas. For now, we wait. Once they are conferred, then we can bring the gifts. That is the order. Kabucha Eudia with the credit. Kachingwe Chikaka Merit. Please remain standing, don't sit down until you are conferred with the diplomas by the Vice Chancellor. Kariambaritia with the credit. Kaluba Clarence with the merit. Kaluba Priska with the credit. Kanta Emily with the merit. Kanika Nedi with the merit. Kasakula Rose with the credit. Kawaza M. Freshwood. Kawimbe Brenda Bora with the credit Natasha Mlenga with the merit <laughs> Nayane B. Yvonne with the credit And Juliet with the credit. Norma Esnat with the credit.
Mana and Alex with a credit. Mpande Sherry. Kayange Rebecca with a credit. Kona Karen. Kufang Joseph Mao with a merit. Kunda Omega with a merit. So we have joined now well, the teaching service and the guest of honor has defined what teaching is. According to topic, the topic is Karunda 2019. The principal of the College of Education, the vice principal and lecturer, the vice heads of the Department of Women and Arts and Culture District, parents and guardians of our graduating teachers, 
the graduates, diplomas in education, this is proof enough for graduates and parents who were doubting of our affiliation with Kwame Nkrumah University. We are very thankful and excited for your coming. Guests of honor, sir, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to thank the Senate of Kwame Nkrumah University for allowing Bika College of Education to be affiliated to the university. Guests of honor, sir, ladies and gentlemen, the directors of Mpika College unanimously agreed to write and hand in the application in person to Kwame Nkrumah University because of its long and successful history in training teachers in Zambia and neighboring countries. Two days later, the directors left for Kwame Nkrumah University with a letter to be affiliated. They had a, a successful discussion with the Deputy Vice Chancellor while in Kruma. Later, we found, we saw ourselves having, receiving, uh, in fact, we see, uh, receiving the, uh, lectures from there, from Kruma, to come and inspect the infrastructure, infrastructure and lecturers' qualifications and later on, we had a good discussion with them. Our lecturers were trained in modules, in module writing, assignment setting, and marking of, of question papers, and they also moderated questions that our lecturers wrote. The final examination was, moder was moderated by Kwame Nkrumah University. All this is to ensure quality assurance and bigger college of education is not only affiliated to Kwame Nkrumah University, but it is fully accredited by the Christian Council of Zambia, Teaching Council of Zambia. Guests of honor, Sam, ladies and gentlemen, these graduates who are being conferred, who are, who are, who are conferred today with diplomas in education come from all the ten provinces of Zambia. Some of them come from Senanga in, and Sesheke in Western Province, and then Lundazi and Kaputa. Lundazi in Eastern Province, Kaputa in Northern Province, Pulungu also in Northern Province. We have a variety of these graduates. Guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, in 2016, we enrolled 98 students. Some of them dropped off, others stopped just because they were not sure if the college was affiliated to Kwame Nkrumah University. Today, you have conferred 98, uh, we have conferred 88 students who have graduated today. There are 88 students. Out of these, we have 36 men and 52 ladies. Guests of honor, Sam, ladies and gentlemen, may I now address the graduates? You are going into the world. Look after yourself. Do not wait for someone to look for you. You are going to care for yourself. Take care of your lives, ladies and gentlemen. A good teacher is that one who looks after himself. Takes care of himself. Do not wait for the minister to take care of you. First of all, you take, your, take care of yourself, then the minister will take it to you. Nobody will take care of your life apart from yourself. Do not tarnish the image. Do not tarnish the image. Do not tarnish the image of Kwame Nkrumah University and the bigger college of education. The already Kwame Nkrumah has a name. And you want that name to be taken care of by yourself. Go into the world, look at yourself, and be protective. Be representative of what you have and be role models in your way. Thank you.
it now. The people that are presenting are union leaders. We are the vice, uh, vice president, Tembo president, Mkandawile vice president, Alfred and vice president. Thanks so much. A big hand, a big hand, please, a big hands. We are giving to this on behalf of graduating students. We cannot say a lot, but we simply have to say thanks very much. Before we call upon for the solution of the, the, this graduation, I call upon the remarks by the principal, Mr. Penjani Ngandu. I call upon you, the principal. Now, call upon the vice chancellor to dissolve this assembly. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I dissolve this assembly as the first graduation ceremony of Pika College of Education. Thank you. Thanks so much, the Vice Chancellor. Now we'll proceed as follows. The Vice Chancellor and the registrar, the guest of honor, the Debs, the principal, the Muchinga Chialedi PF, the provincial chairperson for PF, will go to the Northern Rock Hotel at the world of lunch. The HODs will go in the conference room up there for lunch. Parents and students, we have our lunch in the main hall. Please ensure that you eat enough. If it's not enough, tell us we shall give you. This is our graduation. Without your support, we can. So we are grateful. As the principal mentioned, so grateful. The Vice Chancellor and Registrar. Registrar, I, I just take it, I'm saying you came in as a mentor because this is the first graduation that we have done so far and he has been here mentoring us. Please, for graduate, the, the teachers, for you is imperative that you get the form from Kwame Gruma. Their forms are there. Just get it free of charge. For you, the forms are free of charge. Get acceptance letter and get the form and fill it. You have no option for now to go to Bruma. Parents, remind the children to take the form. <coughs> for all those that wish to go to Nkuruma, please, the forms are given for free. Take advantage and go. We are teaching for excellence is witnessed. My name is Ambula Tinashe. As it is known, I'm the one that I'm the only student that graduated with a distinction. I'm very happy. It's so heartwarming. It's overwhelming, and I just owe it all to God. I have God to thank because if God wasn't in this, it wouldn't have happened at all. I carried Him with me along all the way, and today it has been made possible. I won't forget to mention my amazing mother who has been so supportive. She has been with me throughout the journey and today we are celebrating together. To my dad who passed on only a few months after I started schooling, I love you so much dad and I wish you were here to celebrate with me. And to the entire school, Peter College of Education, I thank you so much for a wonderful school. I will encourage everyone to study with you because you're just ex you're exemplary, you're exceptional. I, will, I don't have much to say because I'm lost for words. I'm overwhelmed with joy and I won't forget to thank people like Mr. Chanda. In the absence of that, he was like a father to me. He counseled me when I'm going off track. He could call me and talk to me in his office. That meant everything to me because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been who I am. Mr. Kanchala as well, he's been an amazing lecturer. He's been there to encourage, to mentor, to be a father. He's an amazing man. I just thank them so much. To everybody else that I haven't mentioned, Mr. Mwapi used to encourage me. He believed in me. I thank everyone for believing in me, supporting me, and I thank Pika College of Education. Yeah, my name is Malama Kabila. I'm a gospel artist. 
and I thank God. I thank God for today. It's like my dream has come true. I've graduated today with a credit in mathematics and Zambian languages. Um, what I want to encourage the public is that um, in Pika College of Education, it's indeed a very nice school. I was not expecting what I've seen today, but by the grace of God, I'm, encour I'm encouraging everyone, uh, every parents outside there, uh, school leavers, to come and join Pika College of Education. It's a very wonderful school. A lot of people they have graduated. It's education in its fullness. Um, we are blessed, as in Pika College of Education, we have one, one, uh, one sister of ours who has just got an instant, instant, instant employment by, by the PS, Mr. Joby Kalumba. She's been employed instantly. Therefore, I'm, I'm guaranteeing the public to say, um, this is a very nice school. It's a very, very, very recognized school. So, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. My full names are Mutere Joseph from Pika College of Education. I, I, I joined Pika, Pika College of Education in 2016. I'm very much happy that um, Pika, Pika College of Education has helped me a lot to become who I am. Therefore, I'm very happy and I'm also congratulating my fellow students who have graduated with different grades in different departments. And therefore, I can't forget to appreciate the administration at large, especially the lecturers. Therefore, I can't also forget my fellow students who gave me the full support when I served as the entertainment secretary, I, Joseph Mutale. Therefore, today is my happiest day. I've graduated with a credit. Therefore, I promise the side that I'm going to offer with full, with full force and full courage and strength. Thank you very much, my God Almighty Father. And I appreciate also my parents. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you very much. You know, it's quite a uh, yeah, wonderful thing. You know, being the first graduate is quite a beautiful thing. And uh, I belong to languages. And for me to graduate with the merit is quite a great achievement. And so I just want to thank you, the management and the government for this wonderful event. And actually, it was a hard thing. It wasn't an easy thing for us to come here. You know, we were a few in those days. Now, uh, by the grace of God, we managed it. So thank you very much. Uh, I just hope everything's going to be fine as we go into the next